you guys have had a bunch of questions for me. So I'm gonna get through as many questions as I can today. About sister locks, I wanna share as much information as I have. I have been locked for eight years now and I have tried and tested so many things, it's not even funny. So if my experience, sometimes failures, if the things that I've gone through can kind of help, you know, guide your journey, I'm here for it. So thanks for tuning in and make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notifications. Uh, first question, if you had a frizz issue, how have you handled it? So yeah, I absolutely have a frizz issue, especially when I need a retight, like now. So one of the things for my, the top of my head, when I'm wearing my hair straight like this, um, and I probably should have done a better job, it's like probably seven o'clock now, so it's not as flat as it once was. But what I do before bed is I will spray my hair with like, um, just like this, this tonic that I have. I just made it myself. Um, and it's got just like a little bit of water and a little bit of uh, jojoba oil. I spritz that in my hair before I go to bed. And then I tie my hair down with a bandana. And then I um, will uh, put my bonnet on it. So I found that that eases some of like the frizziness that comes up in and around here. The other thing that I will do is if, if I find that this is getting kind of a little frizzy for me, I find that the best thing to kind of deal with that kind of frizz is to do a braid out and then cover the braid out at night. Right, so I spray my hair, do my braid out, and then cover the braid out. And I find that, um, I think that might like stretch the hair a little bit, and it tends to kind of ease up on the frizzing. But also when I take out the braid out, I now have like full uh, curls. So that takes away from the look of like the frizzing, again, especially at the front and um, just down the shaft of the hair. So the next question was, how do you keep your hair looking vibrant and not dull? So a couple of things. So I find that my hair really starts to look dull when I haven't washed it. I don't know if other people are like that, but for me, when like I do like a seven to 10 day wash routine um, and I literally will judge it by, you know, one, you know, the dandruff, but also two, um, the, like, just like the look of my hair. If I find that it's looking dull, I'll give it a wash and I feel like, that just kind of revives it. I have a really good like moisturizing routine after I wash my hair and then I brush it and all of that. Comment below if you want me to share my um, my uh, my wash routine or my moisturizing routine. Um, I can totally do that. But I find that definitely when I wash my hair and then I do my moisturizing routine, it just breathes new life back into my hair. Um, and then also just in terms of the vibrance and all of that, my hair itself, like the my natural color hair, has like a hint of brown to it so i don't i don't love that look i just like simple black <laughs> simple black hair um and i have uh like a couple of grays that have come in here so every four to six months i do dye my my locks okay so vivian asked um do you get fat ends and if so how do you manage them so the weirdest thing with my locks is I have had um, like just just a few with fat ends, but if you actually look really closely, but the ends of my hair haven't fully locked. They're still a little, but they never really fully lock. But um, I so I haven't really had to deal with um, the thick ends. I'm still waiting for some of them to lock, which is sad after eight years. But that that is what it is. Uh, Patricia. She asked, uh, did you start with braids and then interlocking? Um, so no, I started with um, loose natural hair. Um, that's how that's how I actually started my, my hair. No, I never braided or anything like that. I just started with about three inches and grew it over time. And again, they are sister locks. So I had M, M, M. Um, M, M asked, uh, how long are my retights? Uh, my retights are about seven hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven hours. Um, my loctician, she is fantastic. She gets every single lock 
they I've never gone through my head and she's missed anything. She's also super gentle on my head. Like I I don't have I know some people say, oh my gosh, after I've been locked, I need to go and take a an Advil or a Tylenol or something like that. Never, 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 never. So um I love her hands in my hair. It takes seven hours, but I feel like it's worth it. Um and then I had Rose City. So she asked, um, did it feel like you had as many locks in the beginning? as I do now. Oh no. <laughs> no. When I first got my locks, I'll see if I can get a picture of it here. When I first got my locks, I literally felt like I had spiders on my head. Like it was so gappy. You could see my scalp. It was a whole thing. And I thought I had made the biggest freaking mistake ever. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, it was, it was brutal. I wore a wig for almost a year over my head. Like that's how thin and scrapey it was. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but one of the reasons why I did sister locks was because after I had my twins, my hair was shedding like so much. Like I would take a shower and it would be like clinging to my hands. And it was just like this whole mental, like it, 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 it was really hard. <laughs> As a black woman, it was really hard to watch your hair just fall out follow up, follow up, follow up. And so um, part of the reason why I wanted to do sister locks was because I wanted to grow my hair and I wanted it to stop the shedding because I was having starting to have patches. My hair was really thin. It was, it was pretty bad. So when I got the locks, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the answer. And even though my loctician told me it takes time, da, 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 you know, have your patience, all of that. I just, in your mind, you still, you see your, your sister lock crush, right? You see your sister lock crush on YouTube and on Instagram and you're like, oh yeah, you know, it'll be a few months and my hair will look like that. It was not a few months, honey. It was years, <laughs> years. The first two years was, um, it was bad, but I'll say the first year, it still looked pretty scrappy. And no, I, I, I feel like it hasn't, like it hasn't actually like tripled in terms of the amount of locks in my head, obviously, but I feel like the density has tripled. I've never like growing up, I never had thick hair. My sister had really thick hair. Um, you know, my, some of my cousins, my aunt, they all had really thick hair. I never had thick hair. And now, you know, with these locks, it's like, oh, like girl, I, I got thick hair. So yeah. Um, so I definitely feel uh, that now compared to when I started, I feel like, yeah, I absolutely have like triple the amount of locks that I did, even though I actually don't. Um, so Cassandra, she asked, uh, do you have small, medium or large size sister locks? Um, so my size is small. Yeah. So small. Um, how many locks do you have? That is the magic question. I still don't know. I just have not counted my locks. Honest to gosh, it, it's a little daunting to be honest. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to try and get somebody to help me with them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, one of these days I will absolutely count my logs. Just don't know when. Okay. So next question from Joe, ugh. next question from joy Morris beauty. Do you ever feel too heavy? Uh, kind of like you're wearing a weave. No. <laughs> Girl, like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say no, but when I was wearing a weave, one of the things, and I've, I've worn weaves, I've worn wigs, I've worn all of it. When I was wearing weaves, braids, wigs, one of the things that always kind of felt heavy was kind of from the root area. And it felt like I had no air going to my scalp when I would wear, especially weaves and wigs, of course. Um, so for this, maybe because it's been like a gradual process of like the hair getting longer and fuller and it's taken kind of years to get to. Like, it wasn't like one day I had hair to here and then the next it's like trailing. It's been a process. So as I've kind of gone through the process, I guess I've naturally just gotten used to having hair. There are some days though, I'm not gonna lie. There are some days where, you know, it's really hot outside and I need some air to lick my back. For sure, for sure. And so those days I will put my hair up in a bun, whatever. But for I don't feel like I'm wearing 
a weave per se or a wig because again for me when I was wearing those things it was always like my scalp and it felt like it was heavy on that whereas when I feel like my hair is heavy is more like when it when it's hot right and I just want to put my hair up rather than like it's like dragging down on me and like in that sort of thing if that makes any sense next question did you get any negativity when you decided to lock your hair oh this is a good question yes 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 so i worked in a industry still do i worked in an industry that is primarily caucasian people older people who don't quite get it right who don't quite get it and absolutely i know like some of the, my co-workers that i worked with at that time i don't work with them anymore but they were kind of like and i had said yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna you know and we were good friends right um and i said yeah i'm gonna do this they were kind of like you sure you want to do that you sure oh i don't know about that like that kind of stuff again i have friends who are from like all over but um my my girls they held me down right like my girls were like yes go do it your natural hair like get your hair healthy and they knew how much i was struggling with like um, my shedding and um you know just worried about alopecia even right like it was a thing so yeah so yes i did have some negativity when it came to that um and some people were like oh you really you want to do dreads you want to do dreadlocks and I'm like, well, these are actually sister locks and they're still didn't get it. But I say to them now, ha ha, did it, love it. Wouldn't change it for anything. Okay. Another question. What is your length goal? I don't know. Honestly, it's funny because before when my hair was like here, I was like, oh, I can't wait till my hair is just past my shoulders. And now it's past my shoulders and it's like, well, past my the base of my bra so it's kind of like mid back maybe lower back actually and i don't know i've thought about cutting it and actually that was one of somebody uh, that was another question that i had which was you know have you ever thought about cutting into a style so i'll answer those two questions together um so i in terms of cutting my hair i have trimmed my hair twice um my loctician she trimmed it for me uh, Simone trimmed it for me the first time last year around like my seven year anniversary. We, we trimmed it for the first time ever. And um, we did it again, maybe about like three or four months ago. So those, I've only ever trimmed my hair. I've never ever like done a real cut on my hair. And it, the trimming is just to try and, you know, even things out a little bit, but I've never actually really done a haircut. Um, I've thought about it though. Like the length that I've loved the most, I want to say, and I didn't appreciate it when I was in it. I was th always thinking about when I get to this length, but now it's like when my hair was like collarbone and it kind of did a natural a bit shorter in the back. It was a really cute bob. Um, that was probably like, like if I had to go back to any length, it would be that length, but I'm just too scared, honestly, to cut it. And I think I need somebody like, um, Simone is fantastic at trimming, but I do need somebody um, who is like skilled and experienced in cutting because, you know, you, you can't just call, cut this willy nilly. It, no, <laughs> not after all the time and effort and retights and all of that stuff. So um, one day I might. Check out this video next if you'd like to see how I do my big bouncy heatless curls.